be great. Uh, Han? Yeah? You know how we said we couldn't work tonight? Please tell me you're fucking joking. Yeah, I know what you think. Do you really? You know what I'm fucking thinking, do you? Yeah, and I know the timing's not great. Why, they're gonna be here in a couple of hours and you wanna play Reservoir Dogs in the basement? Yeah, I know the timing's not great, but please, before you say anything else, just be good. He's being serious about this. If we get the address out of him by tomorrow morning, then yeah. Where are we even going to keep him? In the basement behind the wine cellar. No one will look. You sure? Jack's not a wine snob, is he? You kidding me? He used to get pissed off the brandy butter in a Christmas party. Well, we're okay then. Look. He's either him in our basement or us in Tommy's basement. Shut up and take him downstairs. Love you. Fuck me. It's a family thing. Oh, that's nice. It's hard to have time for your family in this day and age. Yeah. You know, I've got a lot of time for you and your boy, but I'm on the fucking ropes here, okay? We know this lot are on their last legs, and we don't get them now. <laughs> well, strike while the iron's hot, as they say. Hmm. That's very generous of you. Yeah, well, I'm not sure off now. Go to my nephew's christening. Load of bollocks, you ask me. Well, it's a family affair. You know how it is. Go shit like this interview, you know? Yep. Well, guess you better fucking get on with it then, huh? Talk to you soon. Hi, 
can have some water. No. Nope. Come on. Please. Yeah, he just needs to get it into his head that he's not dad. He'll work it out eventually. Anyway, Mum, I'd better go. I've got a lot to do. I'll tell you how it goes tomorrow. Okay, bye. Do you mind taking a crack at it first? Are you serious? I've got all this shit to get done before they get here. Just for like 20 minutes. It takes you 20 minutes to pick out a shirt. You've only got about five. Yeah. Christ, you're such a little girl. I'll make you a cup of tea. It better be the best cup of tea I've ever fucking had. How's it going? Slow. Oh, by the way, what's this? Old pack of cigarettes. Old? Yeah, I must have left them in there. So you won't mind if I bin them then? No. Nope. Good. Well, I'll be another minute, then he's all yours till six. Where are these people you work for, Harry? I don't fucking know. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. I don't. By yourself there, right? What are you getting snippy with me for? I'm not the one going Heath Ledger on his ass. What is it? You prefer knives because you can savour all the little emotions. Okay, you attack. Instead of throwing a fucking moody, why don't you come up with some actual solutions? Don't you dare try and pin this on me. This was your idea. You agreed to it. Okay, I see your point. But what the fuck? They weren't meant to be here for another hour. Well, obviously, they didn't get the fucking memo, did they?
Why did you change your shot? Your shot. You changed it. What are you talking about? <laughs> Why are you nervous? If I hear another fucking word out of you, I'll be chucking you out of here in separate 5p Tesco band tomorrow morning. Are you okay with that? Why have you got to hide your cigarettes? Oh, okay. Remember Stanley? You're right, mate. Yeah. Don't call me mate. Okay, mate. Dining room is just blue Will you take my coat, sis? Why is he here? What? Brother. No, fucking Captain Pencil did go for that. Right, please don't do this. No, seriously, did you? I feel like I contracted Canadian from touching his fucking hand. I don't want to be anywhere near where his fucking dick has been. Okay, so there may have been one or two times. One or two, my fucking ass. You mean to say that your brother brought your two-time shag from Sheffield to uni to dinner with your new boyfriend? Well, I'm sorry, Alex Turner was already famous by then. All the good dick had left Sheffield by that point. So you settled for less attractive, more autistic rain man? Look, I don't know what he's doing here either. Let's just be civil and get this shit over with. He looks like Morris's skeleton has been aggressively face-fucked by Jeffrey Dahmer. Be nice, and we'll be out in a couple of hours. Okay. Fancy place they've got here, isn't it? Thingies are real. That would be fantastic. We can open a new bottle. Care to help me pick, Jack? No, no, I am not a connoisseur. Max barely touched alcohol since he threw up after drinking WKD when he was 15. Thank you for that enlightening story, Kay. I'm sure all the wise of having heard it. No, I know nothing about wine, but Stanley here has done a wine tasting course in the south of France, so I, I think he really knows his way about. Right. Yeah. Okay. Right, yeah, this is good. Let's steady on there, mate. What wine is that? Rioja 2007. Rioja. I think Merlot is more the kind of thing you have at an ex's house. Okay, I'll get a Merlot then. And in Rome. We're not in Rome. You know, you really don't have to worry about me and Katie. I know. Seriously, you don't. I know. She's good shack though, isn't she? What was that? Never stick. Fuck, that's good Merlot. What is that sound? The pipes. The pipes. The pipes are calling. 
From glen to glen and down the mountainside. What? Not a Sinead O'Connor fan? Family's Catholic. I'm just saying, okay? Where does this guy get his money from? He's got a house like this, he's what, 25? It's not just his money, it's mine too. I hope you like Merlo, because Stanley sure seems to. Yes, I, I was just telling Katie that you should really think about investing in cryptocurrencies. You what now? Yeah, I heard IOTA's really going to explode. You should look into that, though. Will do. So I hear you've been making quite a lot of bank these days. I didn't realise one could make so much money as an art dealer. A fucking art dealer. You know I know the square root of fuck all about art. You're sorry for thinking on my feet. I'm not Robin Williams when it comes to ad living. I don't even know who painted the fucking paintings hanging in our dining room. Who's Jackson's bollocks when he's at home? I thought you bullshitted very well. Yeah, right up until he started quizzing me on Kandinsky and the operas he listened to whilst painting. But what was I supposed to say? Me and my boyfriend work for the Sopranos of Croydon. No. You were meant to warn me about your brother who read liberal politics at uni and listened to Philip Glass's piano compositions out of Koyanis Katsi in his spare time. I bet he plays croquet. Why? Does he play croquet? Does he, Katie? Did you and brother Jack-Jack pop down to the golf course every Sunday morning for a quick shot on the 18th hole? Were you in the members of the, the Village Green Preservation Society in some primitive little skidder in Surrey? I'm not the one who kidnapped a fucking crackhead and went clockwork orange on his ass in the basement right before a dinner party. Yeah, I know the timing's not great, but at least the crackhead is bringing in money. I don't see 500 quid rolling in for every hour I spend in the company of Jacob Rees-Mogg on steroids. It's one dinner, Rye. One dinner. Think you can do that for me, darling? Considering he's my fucking brother. I'd rather shove a firework up my Eureka and shout Happy Chinese New Year than spend another five minutes listening to him talking about the underlying feminist genius of Venus in first. You're doing well. Just humour him. Just a few more hours. Now that's Stanley feet. I get the same sensation talking to him as I could get with a blindfold and multiple soldering irons. Do you know who once asked if he could do a line of Ket off my ass? Seriously? He'd never done any, like, proper drugs before and he didn't realise that ketamine is basically jacked up gerbil tranquilizer. Christ. Mm. Right. Back to it then. Mmm. That was gorgeous, Katie. Great seasoning. Had a certain je ne sais quoi. Thanks. That was dog's bollocks, Katie. Glad you enjoyed it. Yeah, it was good. I'll go get started washing up. I'll come and help No, no! It's alright. Sit down. I'll do it. No, Stanley, you are the guest. Don't concern It's alright. I'll do it. Well then, looks like it's just you and me. I'm going to get another bottle of wine. You don't mind which type, do you? I didn't think so. What's going on up there? Shut the fuck up. I want your missus to be pissed if you have one of those. Not as pissed as I'll be having to take your body parts to the rubbish dump tomorrow morning. that happened between you and I. We really could have had something beautiful. Uh, it's fine, really. No, no, no. It's not what you think. Your brother is one of the best of you. <laughs> it's 
so do I. you'd taken it upon yourself to arrange my wedding. Anna. I'm sorry. I hope you don't mind that I cracked into the wine. I don't know why the fuck people do that. And I don't know why you're wearing sunglasses at night. It's a fucking disguise, Franz. That's a horrible disguise. Well, what would you have I dressed as? A fucking houseplant? Vincent, why do you have to swear all the time? We murder people for money. End human lives on a daily, and you're getting aggro about my fucking language. It's just... You used this word in every sentence since we last left the prep. Nothing else quite fits as elegantly into a sentence as the word fuck. You know, it's an adjective, it's a noun, it's a verb. I mean, have you ever even said it? I do not use such a vulgar language. Oh, come on. I'm just more sophisticated than you are. Fuck you. Right, what time is it? None. Right, let's get a move on then. We can still make it back to the spoons before the pikey start fighting very quick. What is that? It's a gun. Cross me on a job. What are you gonna do with that? It's a bloody girl's gun. There was a Harlem from my father. Look, friends, we're not in the fatherland, so put away your pussy dad's pussy gun, all right? And besides, we've got some proper shit in the back. You know, I'm talking submachine gun, maybe an Uzi. I'll go have a look. They fucked up again. They've given us the wrong car. So, what are we going to do now? Get out of the car. Hello! We are the neighbours. It's neighbours, you fuck. Sorry? We're the neighbours. I tried the paperclip. Yes, I've tried the paperclip. Probably do need one. Give it to me. It's locked. Right, let's go around the back. <laughs> Stanley's down for the weekend. And he spots this guy and he likes to buy a tool table. And like that. Whack. Wow. I'm not a believer. And he's right. <laughs> 
Ah, no, for Shag. <laughs> Are you right there, buddy? Yeah. <clears throat> you know what? I think I need more wine. Anyone else? Stanley? Yes. Katie, I know what you're going to say. Come on. He's a bit of a whiner, isn't he? I'd keep my eye on him if I was you. <laughs> okay, you give me a leg up to that window. I'll break it open, get in, go back downstairs again, and we'll go both down to the cellar together. Or oh, we could just take the door. Yeah. Or that. Can I have a sandwich? I'm starving. So are the children in Africa, but they don't bitch and moan for a sandwich. Please? Shut up. What about a glass of water? Okay. I want you to watch very carefully what happens to the next man to walk into this room. And then I want you to reconsider. And then you can ask me if you still want a glass of water. All right? Right. You wait here and don't come down unless it sounds like I'm in proper trouble, all right? What is that supposed to sound like? I don't fucking know. You'll know if you hear it. Vinny? Don't worry, I mate. Everything's gonna be just fine. Oh shit, Vinny, watch out! Where are your bosses? Where are they? Dress them! It's a tub of cheese, sis. I don't fucking know. Whoa, whoa, not at the dinner table. Have we got any dessert wine? I may as well give you Ribena in a wine glass if you want that. Mm, where is Rye with that wine? Uh, Kay, uh, could I have a quick word, please? A quick word. In private. Unbelievable. Unfucking believable. One night. I asked you for one night where you don't kill anything. Well, you never actually said the words don't kill anything. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you need it in fucking writing, Rye? What are we going to do? Well. You could give it a quick stab with a mop and bucket. We could do the rest tomorrow. If this mess isn't cleaned up in half an hour, you're sleeping on the sofa. Do you like Katrina and the waves? What? Because I fucking love them.
fucking delete you. I've quit, Kay. I honestly have. That was an old pack you found in my toolbox. There's two dead people in the basement, and you're choosing to focus on this, really. Don't change the subject. Desperate times, desperate measures, all that shit. Oh, fuck you, Ry. You can try and pull all sorts under my nose, but don't treat me like I'm fucking stupid. I've just killed two people. Probably with families. It takes a very special kind of person to do that. We all have our coping mechanisms. Yours is pretty little liars. Mine is this. Well, maybe you wouldn't have this problem if you hadn't killed the fuckers in the first place. What did you want me to do? Send them home with a slap wrist? Ask them to leave their mate behind? We're not having this conversation now. Ah, the man of the hour. We heard you had a little spillage in the cellar. Hope it wasn't anything too expensive. Some dessert wine. Bugger. I do love a good dessert wine. Well now, I think we've heard quite enough of me this evening. Why don't we hear a bit about you? Have one of these. Oh, you naughty boy. Now this certainly changes things. You know, I was just starting to get to like you. Really? Oh, fuck me. Poundland Sigmund Freud doesn't like me. If it makes you feel any better, Jack, you can go home tonight, have a quiet cry wank, drink some dessert wine, and you even have my permission to write an abstract poem about me on your shitty luck in tribute blog. I'm sorry, Jack. Did that get a bit under your skin? You're not the dog's bollocks because your dad fucking spastic uh, dad fucking out. spazzed out and fucking died in the room next to an 11-year-old you while you were jacking off to Venus in furs because you can't even masturbate like a normal person. Was that not pretentious enough? Did you use Rorschach diagrams? I suppose it gave you an excuse to mope to your art house Lib Dem friends in their non-chain coffee shops in Cambridge, thinking you were Clint fucking Eastwood coming to the rescue of your little sister. But by then, this Manson family reject was already whoa, whoa, asking whoa, whoa. to snort gerbil tranquilizer off her unmentionable bits. Look, fucking Norman Bates to the rescue here. You're out of the woods now, Jack. You know, mate, I'm really sorry, but the only friends that you have are the ones in your head telling you to fucking hurt people. And I'm really sorry that, well, that you couldn't lose your virginity till you were 21, and even then it was no better than a rudimentary porno, but can you please, please stop making it out of problem? So why don't you fuck off back to your fucking Hills Have Eyes caveman family who you found after sending a piss sample off to ancestry.com before I have to chase you back to the fucking valleys with a pitchfork and a fucking flamethrower.
Come on, man. You say funny, huh? Whatever you do, Jack, look at me. Whatever you do, you can't go to the police, okay? Just come in, sit down, we can all talk about this together, okay? Just don't Why? go to the police, come on. Listen, buddy. I'm willing to let bygones be bygones, but I really do love your sister from right down in here. And I thought, considering the whole dad situation, you'd be the next best thing. So I'd like your permission to propose to her. Hey! Where are you going? You could at least help us shift the bodies! What's his problem?
of you.